And it's been a very active year for severe weather with numerous tornadoes cutting paths across the country and with a number of twisters seeming to taper off as we head into the heart of summer, the amount of thunderstorm activity, it's still found out there. Bruni Reno is back with a look at why that is. Well, as we go through the months of July and August, the amount of severe weather we see typically goes down. Uh, tornadoes especially so. Take a look at the tornado occurrence by month, and you'll notice when we peak during the months of April, May, and June, but there is a, star, a sharp decrease in the amount of tornadoes that we see during the months of July, August, and of course, September. It's interesting, though. While tornadoes decrease as we go through the summer, the amount of thunderstorms start to increase. You ever wonder why that is? Well, remember what we need to have tornadoes. You need wind energy. How do we get wind energy? From the jet stream when it comes southward across the United States. But as we go through the summer, especially July and August, as we start to get high pressure building here across the southern tier of the United States, the jet stream starts to lift north. So what happens, you'll have less wind energy. Now, you're still going to get complexes of thunderstorms, but typically because you don't have enough wind, you don't typically get tornadoes. But what also happens is because we're starting to warm the United States, you start getting more thunderstorms. So while you get more thunderstorms in July and August, the amount of tornadoes in the severe weather usually decreases.